and the word of God says, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You may be seated. Amen. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. The first part of this scripture, it says that I am the Lord thy God. Amen. So we know that this message is coming to those who are and who have received the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior. Amen. He says that I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Mm. I thought the victory has been won, but we must walk in victory. Yes. All right. Amen. Amen. We have three points that we will learn and study on today. Today we will get an understanding of what Egypt symbolized in the lives of the Israelites and we today as the spiritual Israel. Again, we will understand what the Egypt symbolizes in the lives of the Israelites and we today as the spiritual Israel. Amen. We will also get an understanding that in order for the Israelites to be free, delivered unto the land of promise, they had to be led. We as the spiritual Israel also must be led. Amen. But most of all, we must be willing to follow the lead. Amen. Amen. All right. As studying this word, the Lord brought to my attention Egypt. We say break free from the bondage of sin. But he says that today we need to break free from the Egypt of sin. Right. For Egypt is symbolic of bondage, yes, slavery, and captivity. Mm -hmm. Not just the physical bondage of the Israelites, but also the spiritual bondage of us even today. Mm -hmm. The definition of bondage, the state of being under the control of a force, influence, and abstract power. Mm -hmm. Slavery. The state of being under the control of another person. Captivity is the state of being in prison. Mm -hmm. None of these things represent the relationship the Lord Jesus Christ desired or has with his bride, the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Israelites through disobedience was disentangled with the yoke of bondage. Mm -hmm. Through their decision to disobey a loving God. But as time continued, they remembered the love of the Father, mm -hmm. and they began to cry out and repent. Mm -hmm. Does that sound familiar? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That your mother and your father, your grandmother told you about <coughs> God, and they showed you his ways. They took you to the church house. They led you unto Christ. But when you got grown enough to think you can do what you want to do, mm -hmm. you turned away from him. All right. All right. You began to follow your own way. All right. You began to say that everything that everybody else told me, none of that is true. None of that is right for me because I'm going to live my own life the way I want to live. All right. All right. And one day you had an awakening. Mm -hmm. All right. You had an awakening and you realized that that which you left was not bad at all. Amen. All right. That which you left was good for you. Right. That you didn't know which way to go. All right. So what you had done, you had error in your way. Mm -hmm. Then you remembered the love of the Father. Yeah. All right. And you began to cry out and repent. Yes. God being so sovereign, he had hid one of the Jewish lineage who lived and knew the ways of Pharaoh to lead his people out of the land of Egypt out of the house of Israel. Right. Now this point alone is worth rejoicing about. Yes, that's right. Because today is the day of salvation. Amen. And whatever has held you bound, whatever have you enslaved, or held you in captivity, All right. you can be free. That's right. That's right. Let's give God a hand clap. Even as they had to be led out of bondage and delivered unto the land of promise, we too, the 
the spiritual Israel must be led. Yes. But most of all, we must be willing to follow yes. who Amen. God has established. Amen. Now, I understand that we have a problem in this area. We don't like to follow the leader. All right. Because we all want to be the leader. All right. Come on, I can remember being a child in the same house that we live in now in the alleyway, me and my friends used to gather. And we would say Simon play Simon said or follow the leader, but everybody wants to be Simon. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to be the person to run and tag or whatever. We didn't want to do that. We all wanted to be the leader. Mm -hmm. But we gotta understand that when it comes to leadership in the body of Christ, you have to be ordained.